fire pit's not amazing, but we can fix that. But we got a really good spot this week. Nice peaceful stream. Rolling on through. I wish I would have been here like two seconds earlier because some kind of a creature just flew right across that water. But super nice and peaceful. This is actually a campground. Um, there's, I don't know, 20 spots maybe? I don't know. There's actually a few people. There's a guy down here that has like a full-blown shed on a trailer. Like, legit DIY camper. Has like another little one that he pulled behind him. Has like a wood stove. Like, dude does it right. So, I'm going to fix up this uh, fire pit just a touch. Get a fire going. It's a little later in the day. But, got a few good hours of light left, so. Should be pretty good evening, I think. Especially sleeping near that. But there's little gnats everywhere. Like, it's 70 right here. At home, it was 75. So, super nice. Super warm. I'm supposed to get down to like 44, 5 tonight. Like, it's not going to be super cold. Should be a good one. Alright, let's get this fire going. Got a little fire going. Fire pit nice and cleaned out. Should burn pretty good. Alright guys, I think I'm going to try a new soda here. Beverage, whatever you like to call it. Fire's burning, it's been going pretty good. I think it will be time to cook before too long. I uh, found this in Pennsylvania. Happy Dad Hard Seltzer Death Row Records. They got like different ones. I guess this is just this version. And it's gluten free, 5%, and it's grape flavor. Thought that was pretty cool. I'm a pretty big fan of the old school uh, rap. Not all of it, some of it. So I had to give that a shot. Even though I don't really care a lot for seltzers. Very grapey. Hit me right in the face. I don't mind grape sometimes. weird like it, it smells really strong of grape but tastes like a little of grape so what you got here is two servings per container i don't know why they don't just have one and be done with it but per container 200 calories i don't even know where happy dad's from i've never heard of happy dad uh, one gram of sugars per serving it tastes like it's sugar free or like something I can't find where they're from. Because I've never heard of Happy Dad until real recently. Oh, Santa Ana, California. Yeah. It's not bad. It's definitely not overly sweet. It could be a little grapeier. Grapier's not a word. I don't know why I keep saying that. It could be a little more heavy on the grape flavor. Makes more sense. But it's not bad. I'll definitely uh, finish it. I don't know that I get it again. It's definitely tastes like artificially sweetened diet grape soda or something. Not awful. Oh, I give it like a five, something like that. Huh? Come across any more of these Happy Dads, I'll definitely try them out. Oh, I got quite a few more to try. Not Happy Dads, just other beverages. So. Stay tuned for those. I got a couple more teas, but I was taking a break from teas. If you guys have watched the last few videos, it might be the last few in a row. I don't know. I just feel like I've had nothing but tea, so I had to mix it up a little. But I think it is time to serve on some dinner, maybe. Got a good feeling about this one. I think it's going to be very tasty. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. About time to start prepping some vegetables, I do believe. I'm trying a new angle here from the camera, so it's terrible. I'll find out later and I won't do it again. You can even read that. Got some sliced baby bell of mushrooms. I like those in my cheesesteaks. 
I don't care much for like the cheese whiz, but this jalapeno cheddar Fritos cheese, pretty solid. Give it a little kick and kind of the cheese whiz feel. So I'm going with that. Of course, got an onion. Let me start with chopping that up maybe. Um, what else? Get some butter, put some oil. I'm also gonna go in with a little provolone, I do believe. Make it a little extra cheesy. Should be pretty decent. And then somewhere in here, got some chicken. I didn't really know what chicken to go with. So I debated on it for a while. I ended up settling on the thighs. It's supposed to be really good on like sandwiches. I've seen a lot of people use these on like homemade breaded chicken sandwiches. I think these should be alright. I don't know. Alright, I gotta find a knife. Yeah, sure that's good enough. Hey, that's way too many mushrooms. I know that. See that now? Probably shouldn't have dumped them all out. I don't want all this fat on my chicken, so I'm going to kind of trim some of this off. I guess some of it's like supposed to kind of give it some flavor, but I don't love chicken fat, that's for sure. Onions going in. And I'm dropping them. Alright, onions been going for a minute. I know these will go faster, so I'm going to go ahead and throw them in now. I'm going to decide just to go with all of them because what else am I going to do with it? All right, so this is my plan. I've never seen or heard of a Nashville hot Philly chicken cheesesteak. Never seen it, heard of it. I just saw this and it came to me because I was trying to figure out something to season that chicken with. I might be a genius. I don't know. This could be a viral video. Probably not. Could make me famous. I doubt it. But it's going to be delicious, I'm pretty sure. That is some very red seasoning. I don't think it's going to be all that spicy because it never is, but the are pretty tasty. We've got some butter and oil mixed. Mushrooms and onions are looking pretty good, actually. I think they're going to be about done. All right, chicken's been going for a couple minutes. I don't know that it's exactly ready for a flip yet. Well, yeah, get a little color on it. So, did get a good deal on a loaf of bread today. You know, clearance aisle, 69 cents. I mean, they're usually a dollar. It's not like they're very expensive, but. Chicken looking pretty good. Just get it chopped up into smaller pieces here. Probably flip the cutting board. Lose all this on the ground. Onions and mushrooms looking pretty good. I think this would have actually been really good even without these, to be honest. But I like me some onions and mushrooms, so they're going on there. Alright, let's see how we did with this chicken. Could maybe use a little more, honestly. Alright. I hollowed out the bread, like, so that it wasn't all bread. Had some uh, raw croutons. Not the best. Anyway, so it looks like it's kind of sunk down in there, but I definitely could have went a little heavier on the chicken. So. Got some of our leftover chicken juice. Throw some of that on there. Might help melt that cheese a little bit. Time to go in with a little uh, mushroom and onion mixture.
now it's a little more like a three. I got like a little bit I saved. I think I'm gonna just sprinkle this on top for just like a little extra seasoning. Hopefully it's not too much. Look at that glorious hot mess disaster. Like what am I supposed to do with that? Let's, I could ride that down the river. I do not want to drop any of this. I know I'm going to. Oh, this is going to be the most mess you guys have ever seen. For sure. Mm-hmm. Instant mess. So good. So good. It's everywhere. I gotta go find a shower already. Okay, I, I don't know why I did that. It's going to be a complete mess again here in no time whatsoever. The mushrooms and onions definitely give it that like Philly vibe. But I'm so used to having like pickles with my like Nashville chicken and any chicken. Because I put pickles on all my chicken sandwiches or anything. I feel like it's lacking that now. I really wish I'd have thought of that. Because it would be covered in them and it would be good. That is one solid sandwich. It's not even that hot. I don't think any natural hot that I've tried has been hot yet. But it's tasty. This is one that I definitely will revisit. Next time, I want a little more spice. Pickles. That's probably it. Other than that, it'd be perfect. I think crispy chicken would be good, though. The grill was fine. Some good crispy chicken. I think it would have been pretty good like that. I forgot I was so excited to try this thing that I actually have a new hot sauce to try I've tried a few of these tabaneros but not the original I'm sure the original it's probably not gonna be like overly spicy this needs a little more kick to me medium heat kosher gluten-free and vegan they're from uh, Delray Beach Florida oh no it's like one of those little dollar store dollar store I don't know why I say that dollar bin finds at walmart they got this big wooden box looking thing with a bunch of different excuse me a bunch of different sauces in it and they're all like one dollar so i've been scooping those up trying to find ones i like because i'll try new things but i also like finding sauces that i really enjoy so i can go back and get more of them That's not bad. It'll taste good on there. Yeah, it's definitely like a medium heat. It's not overly hot whatsoever. That's definitely better than Tabasco. It's not so vinegary. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think like the regular original Cholula is a little better than this in my opinion. Like this isn't my top, you know, few. But that's pretty good. I definitely won't mind having this on here. Oh, that's too much probably. I'd be good on some breakfast food. It's not bad on there. It kind of takes away from the Nashville hot flavor just a touch. Yeah, I just wish the Nashville hot flavor was a little spicier. I know they make different levels of it. I'm just yet to find the spicier version. That's all right. As far as flavor goes, that's definitely a solid six, six five probably. But as far as heat goes, it's definitely like a five. It's, I mean, medium. It's what it said. Yeah, not bad. All right, I gotta keep working on this thing. I'm not even through one half yet. Oh. All right, you guys can't even see me at this point, I don't think, maybe a little bit. But sun has long gone for sure. 
little light left. I don't even know what time it is, actually. Let's check. Let's have a look-see. It is 8.09. I'm really liking these longer days. Got a little breeze coming in, but it's not bad because it's so warm. Like, I'm loving this weather. This is my prime weather, like 70, 75-ish. I like it. But that sandwich, 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 that sandwich mixed with this weather would make for such a good nap. But I don't want to lay down. I'm going to enjoy that fire. Have another soda or two. Listen to those peepers because I've been waiting for that sound for a long time. And uh, listen to that stream because I'm enjoying it. I definitely foresee a very good night of sleep. All the dishes are done. It's cleaned up. Good to go. Definitely relaxed on. Oh, I'm so tired. Such a nice morning. All right, guys. So, uh, pretty solid night. I woke up once, and it was pretty warm in there, actually. So, I thought it was going to be perfect because it was kind of cool out, but it was a little warmer than I thought. I don't think it got down to over like 45. It had to be in the 50s, especially inside of there. So, slid open the window, let it cool down for a couple hours. And uh, got nice again. I don't know what it is right now. I don't have service to check, but it's not cold at all. I would be really surprised if it was any lower than like 52, something like that, maybe. So yeah, not bad. I'm really surprised it got that warm in there last night. Like it's going to be fan weather soon. But I'm not complaining because this, uh, this is my kind of camping right here. Bones, I don't know what that said. I just Bones Coffee Company. I just found these in Walmart. There was like five of them, so I got them all to try. Uh, I've never heard or seen of these. They had all different flavors. This one is French toast. It's 11 ounces. They all had like some kind of fancy artwork on them. 210 calories, not great for 11 ounces. Um, Cape coral florida yeah probably loaded with sugar um one serving per container total sugar 28 grams it doesn't smell like french toast i don't even love french toast but i want to try it yeah that doesn't taste much like french toast i guess a little kind of also puts me in the mind of like a cinnamon bun or something The others were like s'mores. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. And then the other one was like, an, I don't remember. Uh, stay tuned for those. I definitely like s'mores usually because it's not like overly sweet. So that one might be all right. I don't think I'd get it again. Kind of leaves like a, a lingering aftertaste as well. I've not really found any of these like specific flavored coffees that like I love. Uh, might just not be my thing stick with the old uh, plain old mochas or javas or whatever you know um, I don't know I'll finish it but probably not one that I would get again I'd give it like a 4.8 high 4's I don't know the only thing I'd give it a 5 I don't know give it a shot you might like it if that's your kind of thing. I don't want to leave this. This this is relaxing and nice. I like this. This is a good spot. I'm going to have to hit this one up again sometime. But I do got to get on the road. And we got a little something different to do instead of breakfast. And uh, yeah, we're going to get headed that way. It's like 40 minutes away probably. So I'm going to get there. And explain to you guys where we're at and what's going on.
right, so that is a local restaurant in town up there. And every year they have like a ramp week. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what uh, a ramp is or ramps are, they're like, uh, they kind of have like an onion taste, like in the ground, they're like the green leaves, the tall skinny leaves sticking out. And you just kind of pick the bulb and all up and out of there. I'll try to put a picture right here. show you guys kind of what they look like a lot of people don't like them a lot of people do um, I love them I pick them every year um, for some of you longer time viewers I did a video last year I think I was on a side-by-side -side and I made them I don't know it was about a year ago anyways if you caught that video that's what they are I haven't went yet to to dig any and find some but very soon so if you're into scavenging for your food and all that stay tuned for that video that'll be coming up soon um it is definitely also morel mushroom season here if you've never had a morel mushroom this is what they look like they're really good you just got to kind of scavenge around look for those uh you can try them I mean, I've done everything you can think of. Fry them, saute them, put them in a sauce. I've cut them in half and filled them with like jalapeno popper filling, deep fried, really good. So, yeah, they uh, have those ramp specials at that restaurant until the ramp season's over and you can't really get them anymore because around here, um, people just sit on the side of the road and sell them, like five bucks for like a whole big bag of them. So they're pretty cheap but they're not here forever. But that's their version of a Philly. It's, it's just like a plain Philly, just ramps added, so pretty tasty. That ramp dip I've never had, it looks kind of like a salsa. Uh, the yard bird, if you saw that on the menu, it's like chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, ranch, ramps, maybe that's it. It's pretty good too, I've had that. So, something a little different. I've done breakfast for a few videos, so now I figured I'd mix it up a little bit have a Philly for dinner and then one the very next day for lunch. But both, pretty tasty. If you uh, have never had a Nashville hot chicken Philly, you should give that a shot. That was my first time. I had never even had a chicken Philly before that, I don't think. So not too bad. Like I said yesterday, next time, definitely going to add pickle. I think that'd be pretty good. And I think I'll do crispy chicken. I think it'll be pretty tasty. That hot sauce was not too bad. I uh, I want to try it again on something that doesn't already have some like spice to it. That may have thrown the uh, rating off a little, but still tasted good. Uh, that coffee, yeah, I, don't, I think I rated that, didn't I? For something, yeah. Definitely not the best coffee I've ever had, but I am hopeful for the rest. Maybe they'll be all right. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for tagging along. Always like you guys coming with me and seeing what I see and watching me cook and talk a bunch of nonsense. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely think about hitting that subscribe button. That helps me out a little bit. Let you guys know when I'm uploading and all that. It's usually every Friday. Definitely come back next week and uh, we'll do it again for now. Thanks for watching.